and in this Diablo 3 softcore build guide video, we're going to be taking a look at the new and improved Legacy of Dreams version 2.0 for the Necromancer. Now, after the time of recording this video, right after I get done, I'm going to flip this to hardcore, so we'll have it available in both softcore and hardcore, and that will be the new standard for all gear sets moving forward. So when I make a build guide like this, you guys will know that they are available on both softcore and hardcore. First things first, got to shout out each and every single one of my subscribers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this build guide. So we have uh, the Tragul's Corroded Fang for our weapon right here. Very good indeed. It buffs the Cursed Scythe and the Grim Scythe. If you guys want to use those skills, you can by all means. The Legacy of Dreams allows for a lot of different combinations of skills to be used so feel free to play with it how you see fit and this is a level one primal ancient legendary scythe and i'm going to show the affixes there there are four of them now moving on to the gloves we're looking at the grasps of essence with 2024 armor crucial affixes being that 100 percent to all necro skills the resist all and of course the life per hit Actually, all of these are basically essential, and you would like to see them on uh, every piece of gear. It also ignores durability loss, increases consecutive hit damage, and move speed after picking up a health globe and killing an elite pack. And this one also buffs your corpse explosion skill by when an exploded corpse damages at least one enemy, your corpse explosion deals 100% increased damage for 6 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. On top of all of that, you get bonuses for cooldown of all skills by 34.4, resource cost reduction is at 10, as well as a 15% damage to elite enemies, and these are level 1 Primal Ancient Legendary Gloves. Moving on to the shoulders, we're looking at Rathith, Razith's Volition with 2024 armor, again a bunch of crucial affixes, pretty much the same as the previous gear that was just shown. This one has a perk on there, Skeletal Mage gains the effect of the Gift, gift of Death Rune. Cooldown for this one for skills is at 34.4, resource cost reduction is at 10, and again that 15% damage to elite enemies, and this is a level 1 Primal Ancient Legendary Shoulders. Moving on to the chest piece, we got the Aquila Karas, again with 2024 armor, damage, cold damage, fire damage, percent damage, intelligence, resist all, it's got it all man. 100% damage to all necro skills again appears on this piece of gear as well as that augment for the 750 additional intelligence as well as ignores durability loss the same three bonuses for increased attack speed damage and move speed and this one the perk for it is while above 90% resource all damage taken is reduced by 50% cooldown on this one is at 34.4 for skills Resources is at 10% reduction and 15% damage to elite enemies. Again, level 1 Primal Ancient Legendary Chest Armor. Moving on to the helm now. It is Leoric's Crown. Same affixes, except this one has a little more life per hit, coming in at 47,872 life per hit. You also get 50% damage to undead and demons. It ignores durability loss. You get 1,000 to all stats. You get that same consecutive hit bonus to increase your damage by 10% up to 100%. You also get the health globe uh, move speed bonus of 40% for 7 seconds. And this is also infused with that red soul shard. So you're going to unleash a ring of fire that inflicts 20,000% weapon damage to enemies it passes through like every 5 to 6 seconds I believe that goes off. Cooldown for skills is at 46.8. Resource cost reduction is at 31.1. And this is a level 1 Primal Ancient Legendary Helm. Moving on to the amulet. This is a rare level 1 amulet codenamed Remorse. This has it all, man. It has uh, buffs all main stats. You get 15,000 to intelligence, 800% damage, 390 resist all, 800% damage to all necro skills. This one also ignores durability loss. You don't have to worry about losing it to the uh, blacksmith and you gain the blood is power passive which is just a power that prevents you from dying even though we have the test ring 516 it is always nice to have that and uh, cooldown for this one for skills is at 65.1 resource cost is at 27 you get the 25% movement speed bonus which is the cap and you also get 30% damage to the enemies 
taking a look at the bracers now. These are ancient Parthian defenders with 2024 armor. A lot of affixes on here again. Damage to all necro skills. Ignores durability loss. You love to see it. As well as the skill cooldown being coming in at 34.4. Resource cost is at 10. Level 1 Primal Ancient Legendary Bracers. For the offhand, this is a legendary Primal Ancient Legendary Philatrochy. The Lost Time. Pretty much the same affixes here, so we don't really have to go over them all over again. But the perk on this one is your cold skills reduce the movement speed of your enemies by 30%. In addition, your movement speed is increased by 10% for 5 seconds, maximum of 5 stacks. Same bonuses for skills and resource cost reduction and damage to elite enemies. First ring is the test ring 516, the 1 billion physical scale damage variant. Very good. 47,000 life per hit is always nice to see. 600% damage to all necro skills. It also ignores durability loss. Uh, cursed enemies are feared in place for 7 seconds, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, not too much else on this one. Skill cooldown for this piece is at 68.6. You get 12 to maximum essence, and resource cost reduction is at 34.4. And that has a level 1 rare ring. The second ring is the test ring 516 life ring, which is the immortal ring. 600% damage to all necro skills. Gold health pickup radius is increased by 70 yards, which is so, so much. It's only 10 yards off the max. You also regen 160,000 life per second. Skill cooldown is at 56.9. Resource cost reduction is at 19. 12 to maximum essence again. Ice climber boots, 2024 armor. Pretty much the same affixes here. You gain immunity to freeze and immobilize effects, which is nice. Same bonuses for this piece, 34.4, 10, and 15. And this is a level 1 Primal Ancient Legendary Boots. Moving on to the pants now. We got the Blackthorns Jousting Mail. This one also ignores durability loss. Cooldown is the same, 34.4, 10 for resource cost reduction, 15 for bonus damage to elite enemies. Level 1 Primal Ancient Set Pants. Finally, the last piece of gear, we're taking a look at Dante's Binding a Necro Belt with 2024 armor score. 100% damage to all necro skills is very nice. You gain an additional 50% damage reduction when there is any an enemy afflicted by any of your curses, which is really, really nice. Same bonuses here, 34.4 for skills, 10 for resource, 15 to damage to elite enemies. Level 1 Primal Ancient Legendary Belt. Before we, uh, let's move on to the skills now, then I'll show the final damage numbers here. So, uh, your X ability, you're going to want to pick up Bone Spear with the rune Crystallization. For your R2 main damage dealing attack, it is going to be Corpse Explosion with the rune Final Embrace. For your Square ability, and again in that Corpse's skill tree, you're going to want to pick up Devour with the rune Devouring Aura. For your Triangle ability in the Reanimation skill tree, you're going to want to pick up Land of the Dead with the rune Invigoration. And in your Curses skill tree for your Circle ability, you're going to want to pick up Fertility with the Rune Aura of Fertility. And finally, for that Mobility skill, you're going to want to pick up Blood Rush with the Rune Hemostasis. Passive number 1 is going to be Fueled by Death. Passive number 2 is going to be Dark Reaping. Passive number 3 is going to be Spreading Malediction. And passive number 4 is going to be Eternal Torment. Cube powers being Maltorius's Petrified Spike. Stuart's Greaves and the Flavor of Time. Our follower is currently um, on the version 1.0. I actually haven't gotten in to uh, make her stuff yet, so she's still got crappy gear, but it should be the cosmic for the Enchantress. So with that all to aside, let's go ahead and jump right on into some gameplay now. This uh, Corpse Explosion build is a lot of fun, man. It's got high mobility. It's got crazy, crazy high damage potential. And yeah, it's a blast, man. You're basically like a walking, uh, you're just like a walking god, basically, using this set. Um, the LOD Corpse Explosion is ranked very, very highly in uh, the maxroll.gg on their solo tier list for greater rift pushing. So this is a very versatile gear right here, and it offers a lot of different styles of play. So how I like to rock this is I basically, I go around, I when I see a mob or a group of enemies, I like to target them with my bone spike, and then once one of them's dead, I trigger my corpse explosion for massive, massive, massive damage. 
Now, you guys can really play however you want, but, like, I just, I love the feeling of watching a big group of enemies just get annihilated when that, uh, corpse explosion goes off. And it's so, so, so satisfying. I don't know. It's very, very satisfying. And then there's another way to play this build, is you can just sit back and you can become a caster and you can just uh, cast your bone spear and take enemies out like that as well just make sure you have your land of the dead active because your resource cost reduction is very high but um you know you still want to have that on just so you can ensure that you can hold down your uh, abilities for as long as you see fit you know what i mean like it's always good just to have land of the dead active i mean I i'm probably going to try to get that number to 99.99 so you can take off land of the dead for the necros but until that number is at 99.99 i would just suggest keeping it on I mean, it is a, still a very, very good skill anyway, so, uh, but yeah, my favorite way to play this, though, is definitely the corpse explosion, so just get into a big mob group, take out one of them with your bone spear, and then activate the corpse explosion, and watch the damage numbers skyrocket, man. It is so fun. It's such a fun build. Um, you can also use Blood Rush to get, uh, get around the map relatively quickly. You you don't want to be spamming it, though, because you have Steward's Greaves, or you you can have storage screens in your cube, which is going to give you a 100% movement speed bonus for, seven, I think it's 10 seconds, so make sure you just, uh, you know, count down in your head or whatever, it doesn't really matter, but if you want to take advantage of those storage screens, then uh, don't spam your, uh, your blood rush. But yeah, man, this is a very fun build. It's going to be available in hardcore and softcore. So if you guys are looking for any of the gear shown in this video, all you need to do is join the Discord, man. I'm act up on there every single day of the week, handing out gear. And yeah, man, we have a great group of people there. I couldn't be more happy with the things, the way things are going with the community. And uh, yeah, man, if you're interested in joining our gear support role for both Diablo or Elden Ring, all you need to do is hit me up on uh, the DMs and Discord, and we'll look about getting you set up. So I'd like to thank each and every single one of you for watching, man. A special shout out to each and every single one of my subscribers. And I hope to catch you all in a future video coming out soon. Stay safe, stay happy, stay gaming. Peace.